you do. Finnish MEP Nils Torvalds, who was previously a candidate to be Finland's Prime Minister, is in Brussels. Um, Nils, what do you make of the European Union's response to the Sergei Skripal poisoning? Well, we're going to see very different approaches because some of the countries won't be criticizing Russia very severely. And at the same time, I think almost a clear majority, a clear majority will feel themselves very much pushed in a direction where they have to stand up for the values and uh, for member states, even if it's a member state who is about to leave. So I think we're going to discuss this in the parliament in the next Strasbourg session. And I think uh, the verdict will be pretty harsh. Pretty harsh in terms of the stance against Russia. Well, we see that we have a lot of indications uh, of, in, in this case, uh, Russian security agencies has uh, killed their former uh, agents earlier. Uh, th that's almost a question of honor for them. Uh, so the only one who is, could actually be interested in getting rid of, of Skripal is, are the Russians. Uh, but we won't find a person with a smoking gun going in or out from the, of the Russian embassy in London. We won't find the, the, I'm pretty sure we won't find the, the smoking gun at all, because usually when you kill p persons like this, this is a very cynical uh, killing, because they didn't even care about Skripal's daughter. So my guess would be that uh, there will be middlemen, there can be a lot of middlemen in, in between. But from my point of view, I think uh, Russia should be very interested in clearing this, because uh, the Novichok poison, the only source for it comes from, or could co come from, from Russia. Uh, there is a small possibility during the 90s, many weapon de depots in Russia were well, taken apart because uh, the state couldn't pay the, the wages and, and the military took what they could. Just almost all the AK, AK-47s now around in Europe come okay. from these, well, these uh, depots. Are you, so there, are is you... a possibility, there is a possibility that this also had this background. Now, because of your proximity yes. um, to Russia in Finland, are you afraid of Russia and Russian retaliation in general? <laughs> no, we, we are probably the only country in Europe having had a war with Russia mm. and, and still staying an independent nation. So I think we have, uh, our, our credentials in this respect are pretty good and I don't think we are afraid of, 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 of them. What we should be slightly scared of in Europe in general is not very rational behavior, behavior in, in, in Russia because it's an unstable system for the moment being. You have somebody up there, Vladimir Putin, and then you don't actually have a machinery on which you can put any or much trust. What? So uh, the system as such is instable and that's a problem. What about concrete help from the European Union? What concrete help can Britain expect? Well, uh, it depends on what you need. As I said, we have a lot of indications of, from, uh, about the source of, of, of this murder. But as I also said, we won't find a smoking gun. So what would your uh, Great Britain need in these times from us. I think uh, if you go back to, to what we could offer, we could offer uh, all, the, all the knowledge we could uh, and our services could find. And uh, if, uh, if uh, Russia is retaliating even more in regard of, 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 of or Great Britain, then of course uh, we have to follow suit. Okay. We have to do something St just to show our solidarity. So well, stay with this us. Might, this might sort of go further. Do you think 
that yes. there would have been any difference. Um, Niels, I'm going to come back to you in just a moment. Do you think there would have been any difference, Ian, to the EU response? I mean, they've shown solidarity if Brexit wasn't happening. No, I, I don't see what I don't know what other response there could have been. They, they have been as supportive as they can be. The fact that France and Germany and the United States signed this joint letter, which is quite strong. There's a few hedging bits, but it's, it's, it is a very strong statement. And I imagine that a lot of the other countries would, would be happy to sign up to it too. So I don't it's, know what else we could expect. Except uh, Tony Breton said uh, after the Litvinenko incident, um, Europe showed solidarity but there wasn't much in terms of concrete measures. I mean, are we expecting members of the European Union to expel their Russian diplomats, to put further sanctions in place? I mean, is, are these the sorts of things that we should be expecting from the European Union member I think states? there could be some more economic sanctions, but I th actually think the show of solidarity and strength is in itself very important, and that's a statement that uh, a, a multilateral approach is important. It does work. You know, even as Brexit is going along, we're not ever going to be able to live and operate in splendid isolation. And, and we are always going to have to rely on allies uh, in Europe, in America, and I think that's an incredibly important reminder at this very critical moment in the negotiations to both sides, actually. And, and this is a big story in other European countries. I did an interview with Danish television yesterday, and it's their number one story for the whole week. So we, I think some people are thinking, well, this is a story in a small town in England. It's not. Right. Well, that's what I was going to say to Niels. Finally, is, is that right? Um, my other guest here, Ian Dale, says it's a big story in European countries. Is that the case? Is it a big story in the European Parliament? It's a big story. Yes, indeed. Why? Uh, because it was, a, as I said earlier, it was a very cynical murder. And uh, all the indications we have are pointing at, at Russia. So we should demand of them some very honest and some very clear answers. And if they aren't able to deliver those answers, then we have to think about further measures. And those measures should be... Uh, European measures, not just UK measures or right. Finnish measures or Belgian measures. They should be European measures. All right. Niels, thank you very much uh, for joining us. And although Niels described it as a murder, they are critically ill, uh, Sergei Skripal and Yulia, in hospital, not dead. Now